In the east of the continent, crowds of pro-democracy activists have continued to rally in Sudan's capital to reject a tentative deal between military leaders and civilian factions to end the crisis since last year's military coup. Near weekly protests have rocked Sudan since Burhan's coup. New Center's Adesha Waldushoga has more. Since its most recent coup, which halted a period of democratic reform and severely damaged its economy, Sudan has been suffering from escalating turmoil. On December 5, 2022, the military and the civilian leaders signed an initial deal to end a deep crisis that has absorbed the northeastern region. This deal was part of the two-phase political process, notably the forces for freedom and change hosted in last year's coup. نؤكد التزامنا على خروج المؤسسة العسكرية من العملية السياسية نهائيا هذا الأمر يجب أن يصاحبه خروج القوى السياسية من المشاركة في مرحلة انتقالية استجابة لمطلب السوار بالمناسبة نؤكد أمامكم وأمامكم التزامنا الشخصي والمؤسس الصارم بالتحول الديمقراطي وحماية الفترة الانتقالية وفق ما اتفقنا عليه Barely a week after the tentative deal was signed, pro-democracy activists hit the streets to reject the agreement. The protesters waved Sudanese flags and carried posters with images of people killed during the anti-coup demonstrations since October 2021. <laughs> The protest coincides with the fourth anniversary of the beginning of the lengthy massive protest that forced Omar al-Bashir to step down as long-time leader. After Bashir's tenure, there was a brief transition to civilian administration, which was overthrown in October 2021 by a coup led by the army chief Abdel Fattah al Baran. <laughs> The framework agreement is based on the draft transitional constitution proposed by the Sudan Bar Association Steering Committee, which was proposed both internationally and locally, including by the military forces who did express some qualms about a few of its elements. According to pro-democracy doctors, a crackdown on protesters has resulted in at least 122 deaths. Adisha Waudushoga reporting for News Central.